heavy. Bored. And since we were talking about Kurt Cobain earlier, like, that dude was just like, I'm fucking depressed. My life kind of sucks. I wrote all these songs when my life was a fucking garbage pail. And now, like, and I shop at a thrift store because I'm poor as fuck. Right. And now you guys are turning it into like fashion and identity and all this other shit. And he couldn't fucking handle it. Yeah. You know, like, fuck that. Uh, did, did you watch that montage of heck? Uh, the documentary that came uh-uh. out a couple years ago. Uh-uh. It's basically about, it's like, there were a couple documentaries that came out a few years ago. It was like Kurt and Courtney. And then there was like montage of heck. I did see that one. I did see and Kurt and Courtney. Montage of heck, I think captured it kind of the best where his struggles with like what he was the selling out it's very gen x i feel like the selling mm-hmm. out factor and he said you know when they got successful right they made a lot of money off never mind and he became a millionaire could buy this mansion in seattle right and like i think courtney love bought like a bmw or something and like drove it home and he got like furious with her and told her to like return the car because they shouldn't be driving bmws and she's like well we're rich like you know like and he was just so worried about people thinking that he sold out or that he wasn't in it for the music anymore. And I mean, he was doing a shitload of heroin too. So you yeah. can't rule that out. Like, you know, people don't do smart things when they're addicted to heroin. But, uh, resources, American resources. Being bored. It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to put them, I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. Has your night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.